Hi everybody, this is Greg Koopman. Uh, first of all, I want to say that you know Redshift has its pluses and its minuses. Uh, today I've been working on deduping some of the data in some of my ETL packages and um, trying to use the techniques I use generally in SQL Server, uh, which are ex you know extremely useful. Um, but I couldn't get any of those to work in the Redshift, um, so I'm going to have to go with a different um, technique. But I just want to show you, explain it to you, so that you don't have to go up, go through the same rabbit holes that I have. I also want to point out that if you do have a solution that is, you know, the same as what I've been trying to do, uh, I certainly would like to hear from you in my comments section. And with that, I'm going to just kind of go ahead and move on to the um, onto the rest of the video. Okay, first of all a video a couple years ago on SQL Server and how to delete duplicates without a unique key. And that's the same thing as I'm trying to do inside of Redshift. Um, and this video that you can look up on YouTube uh, goes into quite a bit of detail on how I do that. It uses uh, window functions in order to do that and it has it's a nice technique. But I can't get uh, Redshift to do that. Or to do it in a couple other ways using uh, where the where it doesn't recognize the association between the, the CTE um, and the table that where the rows are that I'm trying to delete from. So that's the main problem. So what I suggest you do: go ahead and watch you, you breeze through this SQL Server deleting duplicates without a unique key. Maybe play it on two times speed, whatever way you want to, but check it out. I just want you to recognize that that way, the way I do it there, which is a really nice technique, uh, is not going to be able to be used in Redshift. Okay, um, if it is, you show me. Please leave me in the comments, like I said. Okay, um, let's move on here, and we'll go over to Redshift. I'm assuming you've already seen some of that video, so let's jump over to Redshift and let me demonstrate. So, okay, so here I am in Redshift. And I created a ta table very similar to the one I did on SQL Server, just two columns with a bunch of duplicates in them. Okay, so as we see here, I have Greg twice for Greg and gender male, my three times with female, John with w only one row with a male, Matthew with uh, two males, and uh, Sheila as one as a one row with one uh, as a female. Okay, so what I can, and this is what the table, and so that's what the table looks like. When I put in this row number over a partition by name gender, then I can get this down to um, where I have the row number associated with it, right? So I have my one, two, three, Greg one, two, Sheila one, John one, Matthew one, and two. Okay, so now once I get to that point, it's only one more step. That I have to do is to go from there and just say, um, well, I put this into, into a CTE. Maybe put in some sort of temp table or something if you want. I like my C. I like to use the CTEs a lot. Okay, and now I go to execute, and voila, we finally get just the ones we need by using this concept. So what do we really need to do? What we really need to do is delete all the ones greater than one, right? So what I would typically do in SQL Server is say, um, delete, and I'll use a little bit of what they do here, delete from um, data lake. I'm in Redshift now, of course, right? Some people put it beforehand. Um, that still doesn't work. Um, so then I would say here from what SQL Server does is it associates this underneath the covers. Okay, when you get use a concept like this in SQL Server, it knows intrinsically that this data lake person is is a is associated with what you're trying to delete from. So it's able to recognize a row and uh, and delete the rows you really want to, okay? But let me tell you, I'm not even going to run this. This doesn't work, okay? And, uh, you know, you can try it as much as you want. I spent many hours trying to get this thing to work. It, For me, it did not work. Um, so I just want to point that out so you don't waste your time. So what they tell you to do then 
is to do something more like create a temp table. How does create a temp table by selecting it from a temp select into a temp table? Select um, just like so. Execute. Okay, that's executed. That temp table has something in it now. Should have exactly the same. Like from data lake temp. Okay, so we have the distinct this distinct ones we want. Then we truncate from the table. Then we truncate from the person table. So now we have nothing in the person table. Select asterisk from data lake that person. And we execute that. So now we have nothing in there, and then we just do an insert into data lake person, and from a select name gender from the data lake temp, which is our distinct the ones with the distinct uh, records in them. Okay, so insert into okay. Now we select from person, and now we've gotten rid of our duplicates. Right, so here we are. We got rid of our duplicates, and now we're fine. Okay, so what the point is, is what they say in the, the Redshift world, is, you know, Redshift so fast, you know, with all the nodes and all that stuff, which is fine, which it is, that it, a lot of times it's faster just to go ahead and do this deletion of the duplicates you find, and then just replace them with a distinct of them. Okay, and, and that's cool. I like that. But, you know, I like to do with the CTE. I like to be in very uh, graceful. I like it to be uh, work really nicely. But this I find very manual and not very um, f fun way of doing it. Not very elegant. Let me put it that way. So, but that's the way it's done. Um, if you find another way to do it, go ahead and let me know in the comments. And uh, I just wanted to tell you about this so you don't waste all your time trying to get it to work the way SQL Server does. There's another way we could do this is we could go ahead and take that same person table. I'm just going to truncate it real quick. Uh, data lake dot person and add an identity column to it which would give it an actual key. Um, so now when we look at data like person, we have execute nothing in it. Uh, if we come up and we um, go ahead and create the table from scratch, create table and execute person already exists. So let's just drop the table. Just gonna drop it. I'm gonna recreate it. And then I'm gonna insert a bunch of rows into it. Now remember these are gonna be auto numbered, right? So now when I run a, a select against data like person here, we'll see all the data but you're going to see the ID field right here filled in with 1, 2, through 8, and that will always be unique, and so that's good. So we can use that in, we can use that in a, a little bit more elegant technique than this, um, you know, delete, uh, deleting the whole table or part of the table, then reinserting distincts into it. So let's just give that a shot. So now we're going to go ahead and say we want to delete. Um, we want to delete table data lake. So now we're not going to do the full delete. We're just going to delete just the the uh, rows that have repeating repeating numbers in them. Okay. So we delete and we're going to say uh, where. Um, Okay, so 
let's take a look at what we got here. Basically, we have all of our um, different IDs, right? With uh, Greg, 10, 11, <laughs> John has M, my, three my's, two Matthews, one Sheila, right? And what we want to do is get rid of all the duplicates. But, rem of course, remain uh, keep the ones that are distinct, right? So I, want, I need Greg, I need John, I need one for my, I need one for Matthew, I need one for Sheila. All right, so this is the query you can run here, which does incorporate the CTE, but this is because we have this, the way uh, this we have this uh, auto incrementing ID primary key that we can use. Okay, we don't have that over in the initial one where we didn't have a primary key, uh, and we couldn't do it. So now we can do it. Uh, so let's go ahead and run this. You can study this query, but this one will work. So let's go ahead and execute. So we execute it. Okay, it finished. So let's go ahead and run our select again and see what comes out. And as we see, we have one Greg, one John, one my, one Matthew, and one Sheila. Okay, so we got rid of our duplicates nice and easy that way. Not a lot more elegant that way uh, than doing it, you know, when we create a temp table and then we delete everything and then we you know we create a temp table with all the distincts and we create i find this much more elegant and uh, a, a nicer technique okay um leave any comments you need in the in the comments section and um if you have a better way of doing this please let me know i like i definitely am interested in uh having a, a more elegant way especially with the non-key one i mean the one with the key was this is no problem here but, you know, sometimes the, a lot of tables don't have keys, uh, primary keys, and uh, we have to do it the other way. And I'd like to see a little better technique. All right, thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. Bye.